Okay, I'm going to do some pots nice and early. It's a bit drizzly, so the lens is probably going to get messed up again. Another day that was supposed to be nice. Not nice. I mean, the weather's up. The sea's fairly flat. There is a bit of swell, but it's not bad. I'll get these out of the way because I'm going to go and try and bass fish and then um, probably head off do some other fishing maybe it all depends but I don't want to probably won't be coming back this way necessarily so I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to come out and do these after fishing again I only checked them yesterday but a bit lower lobster at the moment so. under cover because it was drizzly a bit the screen just gets messed up but I started casting and picked this up I'll just change down to a smaller lure so it'll be probably small fish not bad with these hooks, with these lures. That's not bad at all really. Not bad at all. that that hit it right on near the boat here the speed it came in it unbelievable there's actually another one with it I can see the one to the side of it as well Bang. Whew, that made me art jump seeing that awesome That is a nice one, that. Got to be four pound, four and a half pound, that one. Absolute beauty. Little parasite things on it. Let me get those. Just 
seen a shoal of fish under the boat. So I'm going to try and get this. Just to see. like a mackerel though. Feels pollocky. Yeah, definitely pollock. Nice. So it might be shoals of pollock. We'll find some pollock. We've had pollock for ages. Fishing with Pollock, you know. <laughs> Might give up on the bass. Uh, it's only a small one. Just a little one, we'll chuck that one back. It's talk dark, but we felt one of the hooks ping, so it feels like quite a big fish. Or big ish. It might be hooked bad because, like I say, I felt one hook ping, so it might be a second hook in the side that's holding. Ping out. It's just hooked in the underneath the gill area. Very awkward position. I'm trying to get it out without getting caught on it myself. There you go. That's got to be five, six pound. Lovely fish.
probably wondering why I put the spinning rod and drop this in the water. It's because we're coming over a deep area. So along the edge you get fish like that. woke up. First I thought it was a small fish but it didn't look bad actually. To keep it from going down too deep or it'll end up in running the weed with these lures. Bad idea. Underneath the lure in the middle, packed from the belly of the lure. They do that quite a lot. Now, just getting it out to the top of it. There we go. There you go. Lovely fish. size fish. Wow, look at the colour of that. Just look at that colour. That is amazing. Now these make amazing rockfish bait, especially red ones. But that one is just too pretty to take. Let's hope it can go down. Yeah. It might be alright. I saw his bladder sticking out, but it, it's not that deep, and if it goes, it went down pretty quick, so let's hope it's alright. That's one of the reddest ones I've ever seen, I tell you that. You do get red ones, but that one's red. trailing back in the bay. See if there's any fish around and uh, something grabbed it. It's just a mackerel or something like that. Pollock maybe. Yeah it's a pollock. Oh well it's good to see there's a few pollocks showing because I have to say there hasn't been many pollocks. It's only a little one. Oh, it's a bit of pollock. 